Hi there, it's me again, this time to help you remember the structure of an amino acid. You've already taken the time to practice drawing their structures, so you may have discovered just how easy it really is. All 20 amino acids follow the same N C C pattern. And since you've memorized the seven functional groups that we're going to have in this course, uh, the rest is pretty simple. The N becomes an amino group. Okay, so we've got the two H's there, and the carbon on the end is a carboxyl group. So we've got And we're checking that each carbon has uh, um, four bonds, and the nitrogen has three bonds, so we've got to add some bonds to this alpha carbon. We call this the alpha carbon, the one in the middle there. And it always has a hydrogen attached here. And down below uh, is really the only question mark. This is called a side chain. So for each of the 20 amino acids, uh, everything is pretty much the same except the side chain changes. You should know the properties of all 20 side chains and you know you should be good and good enough that you don't know, need to memorize this structure. You just look at it and see is it hydrophobic, is it hydrophilic, is it large, is it small, is it charged, is it uncharged, uh, is it a basic group, in other words it's going to accept protons and gain a positive charge or is it going to uh, donate protons, be an acidic group, and uh, have a negative charge at physiological pH. So those are all the kinds of properties you should be aware of. And I want you to know how to draw these four amino acids. So glycine uh, is the simplest. Its side chain is tiny. That's a non-polar little hydrogen. So uh, very easy to remember. It's basically just that NCC, amino carboxyl, and add that hydrogen. Over here in alanine, it's a little methyl group. So we've got H, CH3 basically. And you can look at that, you immediately know that, that is a non-polar side chain. That it can form no hydrogen bonds and water is going to repel it. That's going to be important for how these proteins uh, gain their structure. So that's one of the reasons we want you to look at these side chains and be able to tell us something about the chemical properties. Serine, very similar. So it's got carbon, two H's, but this time it's got a hydroxyl group. And that changes everything. That hydroxyl group, that oxygen is electronegative. Uh, the electrons are going to move towards that oxygen. It's going to gain a partial negative charge, and the uh, hydrogen at the end there will gain a partial positive charge. It will be happy to form hydrogen bonds with water, and therefore we are going to call that a polar side chain. Cysteine is interesting, uh, similar to serine, almost the same shape, except it's got a sulfhydryl group, one of the seven functional groups you are supposed to know. And sulfhydryl groups are very important in proteins because they can uh, form disulfide bridges, so two cysteines can link together to help hold that protein chain together. So. I want you to know these four amino acids, you should be able to draw their structures, and then you should be able to look at other amino acids and tell me something about the properties of the side chains.